Studies show that if a child is hungry, learning becomes a lot more difficult. Community Crew works to support kids across Niagara with nutritious lunches to help them through their school days. Katie Heron joins us to talk about the organization's upcoming Lunchbox Gala. This is a new title for this, Lunchbox Gala. Yeah. Normally this is an evening event. That's right, that's right. Well, in keeping with who we are, which is an organization that provides lunches to food insecure children, we thought, why not shake it up this year? and celebrate lunch. And so our um, attendees will receive a beautiful gourmet lunch box. And uh, we decided to put it in the day, supporting women who are running an artisan market for us and just making it more of a fun event that happens during the daytime in kind of a celebration of what you can accomplish at lunch. Is this lunch box branded with the Community Crew logo? Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. I'm um, not getting a Superman lunch box. You, I guess, you are not. No Spider Man, no Wonder Woman, but uh, will be branded and our attendees have choices of, of what to have in their lunch box. Unfortunately, the wonderful children we feed, um, their lunch box might not look quite like this. It is a balanced meal and so is ours, right. but um, our attendees have some options for what they want in their artisan lunch box and it's going to be a great event. So. $75 a ticket. That's right. And, and this is taking place at Central Community Center. It is, yes, that's right. Thursday, June 1st. Um, we'll open the doors around 12. We've got some fun things planned. Complimentary cocktail upon arrival for our guests. Um, a gift from a wonderful brewery. And um, the Artisan Market will be there. We've got students from Ridley College who will be um, just playing for us a stringed, a stringed ensemble. And uh, we'll have silent auction and all kind of the normal fundraising events. Uh, we'll give program updates and celebrate our volunteers. and. It's just a great opportunity to give back. $25 of that 75, I should mention, is tax, dedu tax deductible. Um, so that's part of the event. And yeah, just a lunch, just a beautiful luncheon event. Let's, let's talk about those volunteers. How right. many does it take to get these lunches ready? Yes, we've counted this up and it, it's funny. Uh, we're up to over 80, over 80 a week because we pack the lunches fresh each day and then a different group of folks take the lunches to each of the schools fresh each day. So it's a rotational basis. We also have volunteers that aren't even counted in that over 80 number that write the notes for the lunches. Right. It's a really important component of who we are. We, we, we love providing kids lunch that are food insecure. But encouraging notes. Encouraging and, and just building them up, helping them see that there is a community that cares about them. Um, that they're valuable, that's, that's really, really key for what we're trying to accomplish. So these little notes are written from um, patients at Dushaver, um, rehabilitation to yeah. uh, folks in old, old folks' homes, right. to kids in schools. We have kids actually writing notes to other kids, which is a beautiful thing. So um, we're not even counting that number in the over 80. The over 80 really just gets the lunches from food prep and chopping cucumbers and making roll-ups to uh, putting the lunches together and delivering them to the schools. How many students are you serving right now and how many schools? Sure, we serve a little over 1,300 students and um, each week. The students sign up for our programs too. It's not kind of a drop. They're, they're very particularly signed right. up in our program. We serve a lot of halal lunches and gluten-free and dairy-free and so it's very specific to the child. So over 1,300 kids in 30 schools. Wow. Right. It's amazing. And it's both boards as well. Exactly, yes. We serve in the DSBN and Catholic School Board. And the 30 schools that we're in are the 30 schools with the highest levels of poverty. So we are in neighborhoods where about 50% of the neighborhood um, is below that poverty line to our highest, uh, which is maybe 20% or so of the neighborhood sits in that poverty line. So. That's, if, how the, that, that's how it was determined for those schools. To this serve. gala goes a long way towards funding your program. Are you getting government funds for this? We do not receive any government funds at Community Crew. We're an interesting, um, interesting organization in that way um, that we are all self-funded through generous donations of individuals and businesses and service clubs. So yeah, this fundraising gala is really important. It's our one big fundraiser we run ourselves. Um, we are, we're so blessed that Many times organizations do fundraising events right. and gift us right. with the proceeds. It's a beautiful thing, but this is our own program and the only one that we, we do a year. Um, it's our big one and it's really a thank you to for our volunteers and just you know gives us a chance to showcase some of the things that we've been able to do with those funds that have come in. I recall a couple of months ago, the call was out that you are looking for a new home because Central Community Church used to be 
on Scott Street, am I correct? Is it yes. Scott Street? Yep. And you're still packing lunches out of there, but that building is soon coming down. It is, that is correct. Uh, we are not 100% sure when, but we know it's, it's quickly approaching. Um, so we have been busy looking for new space and we are not 100% signed into anything new. We've got a couple of promising leads, um, but yes, we are sharing that word that we are looking for a new home and it's a pretty complicated process. Why? What, what, um, are, what exactly is needed for sure. this home? Well, our kitchens are government inspected, so they need to be uh, meeting criteria for health and right. safety. Very important. Um, with. 4,000 lunches a week coming out of them. It's really important that we have a good kitchen with good storage and uh, refrigeration and freezers and everything to buy this amount of food in bulk to really do the most we can with the donor dollars we buy in bulk and we do everything we can to mitigate our costs that way. So we need a kitchen, we need a huge amount of packed space um, because that's a lot of lunches coming out each day. They're packed fresh. Um, Folks need to be able to park um, and load up the lunches. Delivery drivers need to be able to bring food to us. So it is a bit more complicated than you might think. But we, we, we are getting close. You, are, you are getting, getting close. close. We have a couple really good leads and we're very hopeful. Excellent. So, well, yes. make sure you contact us <laughs> we when will. you know yes. where your new home will be. Really quickly, details yes. on the gala. We've got about 10 seconds. Perfect. The gala is Thursday, June 1st at 680 York Road. That is where the Central Community Center is. Doors open around noon and the whole event will be wrapped up by around 3, but you could certainly leave earlier if you need to. And tickets are available on our website, communitycrew.ca. Katie Heron, yeah. thanks so much for your time Thank today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it.